Foodies, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sing. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support. You all shower me here with I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important and really juicy, kinda. But then let's get into this video. It's about uh, a man who actually came out to say that my son's mother doesn't want to honor her parenting time again, right? So why I was like, kind of, I was like, wow, how, why is it that a woman doesn't want to like, you know, it's kind of rare to see a woman that doesn't want to be in a child, I mean, the son's life and all that. And then I decided to go snooping and I saw so many things. It looks like this particular young man already asked for full custody of the son. I mean, his son. And uh, the woman actually transferred all the whole full custody to him. And now he is also co want both of them to co-parent. Like, he had, I don't know, but how does it work? Like, you ask for full custody. And you got the full custody and now you are also looking for a way to i mean i mean you want to share uh, uh um, your time or the time uh, the child spends with you or spends with the mother i mean you want to share it maybe this week to the woman and next week the other week to me and all that but you already got full custody you are supposed to like have the child like all the time every day all day there is no break because that is what you ask for and you got it right it looks like someone is being yeah or someone is looking for someone to control because this video isn't kind of weird and there was also a conversation this young man posted i'm going to, I'm going to leave the link in the comment section because there is music to it which is like copyrighted so let's get into this video we'll come back to talk about it i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comments so let's get so I'm dropping my son off for his uh, his mom's week. She is not answering the phone, video, I mean FaceTime, phone call, text message, doorbell, at all. It's her week. And I'm remembering that when I talked to an officer on, uh, on the non-emergency line, the officer told me, I can't make her take him on her week she can make me take him on my on my weeks, which I don't mind having my son. He's back there. I'm so. And if I have him, she can come get him from me. How backwards is that? I have sole legal custody. I call all the shots. She said in court this past Monday, she didn't want nothing to do with him yet again for the third time in court. Fourth time, to my knowledge, one of them was through text message. The other three were in court. She stood up in court the first time when I got when I was gave given sole legal custody on July 8th, 2022. She stood up in court and told the judge she don't want nothing to do with me or Maverick. So I'm at this point where I know if I decide not to ever let her see him again, according to the, the, the court documents, I would be wrong. And we understand if the shoe was on the other foot, they'll be up my ass like a bicycle with no seat. Excuse my language, ma'am. Yeah. So, also in court, they pushed it out because she didn't want to take. She didn't want to take the parenting class. She said it was a money issue. Okay, yeah, I'm in arrears because she griped about uh, child support, hoping she was gonna get 1500. She only getting 137. Whoop the freaking do. I talked to CP child support and they said just go ahead and knock out three more payments you being current you okay you good fine cool it's fine and dandy her on the other hand yeah I was snooping I did she's somewhere on the island perhaps maybe she pulling you know one of them stunts where she went there a month ago and now she's posting it and legit she's probably in the house just chilling not answering her phone, not fulfilling her parental obligation per court order. 
And so if you really don't want if you really don't want our son, yo, just just do not come back, bro. Like just do not. He didn't even want to get out the car. When he seen where he was at, he did not want to get out the car. He did not want to go to the door. I will not make my son do something he do not want to do. And he didn't want to be around his mother like that. That's cool. I document everything when he's of age and he's able to understand. Son, here it is. Plain and simple. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let the evidence show you. So I'm very upset. I want to co-parent in, in a healthy manner. Going through the courts, it's taking a little bit too long. And I, I, I also realized that if I reacted the way she did, we already know what the results will be. So uh, I'm going to continue to take the high road. At times I'm like, ooh, I want to do this. Yet, yeah, no. I'm still going to take the high road and do what's right for my son and by my son. Because that, that guy next to be here at all. Look at him back there. He's chilling. So he didn't ask to be here. Ain't that right, Mal? He shook his head a little bit. So I'm uh I'm a, I will just keep on doing what's best for my son. That's it. Protect him, guide him, lead him in the right direction, love on him like I, my dad and several people in my in my life have shown me. Other other relatives, uh people in the community I looked up to. Though that's how I will raise my son. Not none of this ducking and dodging and don't want to be responsible for, you know, your responsibilities, you know. So um, that's <laughs> what I feel like expressing myself right now in the, in, in the most uh, decent way possible I can think of right now because I can, you know, I I, I, I really could be I really could be just really pissed off. I'm just I'm gonna just leave it at that. However, I just had to make this video because I don't know if it's going to go viral or not, which I, I, it should go viral to raise awareness because there are some people out here from the woman's side of the game who don't give a crap about their kids. We've all made mistakes. However, hey, the kid is here. Let's do what's right for that kid 100% of the time, not 15, 20, 17 and a half percent of the time. No, 100% of the time. Okay, y'all. This guy on um, TikTok, Greatness45 or whatever his name is, is giving bitter baby daddy energy. Like, and he did this to himself. Like, I don't know if y'all picking up the traction on this, but a few months ago, he was over here posting screenshots and putting his baby mother's business out there. And he said he was going to take her to court for 100% custody. And she gave it right to him. She was pregnant um and apparently like he she was his fiance as well once she had the baby he left her for eight months and decided to come back when he wanted to and she tried to take him for child support and instead of him saying like okay i'll pay the money he said i'm gonna just take you to court for full custody the gag is she gave him exactly what he wanted and now he's mad and now he's mad he has sole legal custody of his son she he like i said he posted screenshots a nice long screenshot of her saying i love my son but i love myself i love my son and i love myself and i hate you so if i have to give up um my son to get away from you like so be it she has other kids that she needs to take care of and when she was sick while having that baby by herself he did not care he didn't care now and then like the the way that he's talking now like more in the more recent videos this picture that i screenshot he is sitting outside this woman's house blowing up her phone FaceTime, phone call, everything. He even went on her social media to snoop to see what is she doing. We all know about those crazy baby mama stories where the female is usually the one doing the shit, doing this. He outside doing this, a whole grown man with the baby in the back seat. Like, I'm trying to, like, 
it's given um it's given Tiana Taylor's character uh and Bow Wow is her baby daddy in that movie. And that is literally the energy that it is giving me. And he is so upset that she is not like that she she's not she's not responding. She does not have to. Baby, you asked for full custody. You got it. And now you're trying to say, oh, it's your week. You need to take the baby. What? Those are all your weeks, baby. Those are all your weeks. I just went on one of his videos and he posted a picture of him and his son or like a video talking about, oh, she kept me away from him for 21 days. Um, so we're celebrating Christmas today. Kept you away from him for 21 days, but you left her as a single mother for eight months. And you whining and crying about it. You want somebody to pat you on your back because you're quote unquote doing what you got to do. This man even got hashtag single dad in his bio. You asked to be a single father and now you are a single father. And every video that you post talking about how you that has anything to do with this woman after she bluntly multiple times in court said she don't want nothing to do with y'all. You're just going to look crazier and crazier and dumber and dumber. And what's so crazy to me and why I'm saying it, why I'm put, posting a video about it, is because he said if the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be wrong. Bro, the shoe has always been on the other foot. And us women, we always look like the crazy, bitter baby mama. Please spare me the bullshit, bro. Like, spare me that the, the craziness that's coming out of your mouth and the way that you think. Like, I need somebody to really hit this man up and give him a reality check because he really needs one. I got the nerve to be upset that she don't want to be a part of the baby's life. Wow, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Hey, just a quick PSA for the uh, TikTok community uh, as well as those of X and Instagram. Um, we, don't, we don't have to post everything about our lives. You know, the the I, I get it. It gets views. I'm I'm guilty of it too. I, I watch I watch all of it, okay? But after a while it's just it's very sad. It's 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 uh we're regressing as a society. Like we, we shouldn't be this invested in, in a in a dude who abandoned his pregnant fiance and now she doesn't wanna see the baby. Like why is he posting that? Why is he and why wouldn't he turn his blinker off while he was stationary? That made no sense to me. But 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 we want you know again I get it but don't so stop why are we doing that or oh you know the the uh, this this random drug dealer nutted in me and now I have this big headed ass baby I don't know what to do like that's what what why are we why are you we used to keep that as a secret these were things we kept to ourselves back in the day it was like why would you want anyone to know that stuff don't now we share it and it, it gets millions of views. And you get to make a t-shirt or a Patreon or whatever. And then the guy will respond. And then it's like a back and forth on TikTok about who nutted and who. And who beat up who in a, a, a shitty hotel or apartment complex. Like, what do we... Send the aliens at this point. Destroy it. Go, go for it, aliens. Uh, the meteors. Just send them all. Whatever you need to do. This is, this is bad. It's really bad. What? What is going on? Also, while we're at it, uh, for the our our, our you know our caucastic our caucastic friends, stop like mushing a bunch of food together, petting a dog, letting the dog eat the food, and then mushing it more with your hands. You know what you're doing, okay? This, this is this is pure insanity. Am, am I taking crazy pills here? What's what's going on? All right, y'all. I'm back with this greatness. Eight forty-five. 67 72 shit um i woke up to someone commenting the mother's information finally and i went on her instagram and i found her tiktok she does not post she literally has like only like 11 posts on her tiktok and her instagram is clearly where she is on most 
Somebody said something yesterday about a Facebook and I have not found that. I have not been on that. I don't know what she's written on her Facebook. As far as her Instagram goes, I truly do not see where this woman has not been in her child's life. And Maverick is two years old. I do not know his birthday, but there is a clear timeline where she does see her child. She may not see him as much as this father wants him to be with her, but she has multiple videos on her Instagram where she's in the supermarket with Maverick. That's his name, Maverick Zane. She is, you know, just doing all types of activities with him. I also see that this woman is very private or way more private about her life than he is. As far as his TikTok goes, every little thing that he does, he posts it on TikTok, including embarrass, trying to embarrass her. And she, for the most part, has a lot of just um, positive energy, healing, uh, self-care stuff on her page with like a little, like with some drip, with some, some sprinkle of Zayn there. And for Zayn, for Zayn to be two years old. And then I'm looking at the video that he posted with the screenshots. That's from January of this year. Um, but Lord no, like it looked like a live. I'm not going to lie. It looked like a live that he posted as a video because it, in a part of the video, it looked like he was replying to a comment that someone wrote. So I'm sitting here like, did he go on live and immediately post this video? Or did like, is this an old video or what is he doing? There's a part in the video as well where he's reading her text messages and he's trying to say like, oh, how do you, how do you stop being a mother? Because he had her like, no, he had Zane. They went to the zoo that day, blah, 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 whatever, all the shit he said. She texts him like, keep him until the next time we go to court. I am not well. So all of the information that I heard yesterday, this woman is sick. She is not doing good. I even on her Instagram she has a video or like a post of her talking about her colonoscopy. I don't know nobody that is that open to um, tell about a fucking colonoscopy unless you are unless you're actually like really sick. And for the people who want to know what's going on with you, like you're ex you're letting them know, like, thank you for all the well wishes. Um, I wanted to like screenshot her information. I wanted to screenshot all this, but I was just like, no, I'm not even going to do all that. I even went on Google and looked up soul custody versus physical custody versus legal custody versus joint custody versus all this custody because on his current, like his video that he just posted on TikTok, every time somebody says something, he literally is copying and pasting the same reply under every post talking about, oh, sole legal custody means that one parent is able to make the decisions for the child. Um, and all this narcissism talk that everybody is bringing up, that fits perfectly fine with what's going on. Like you took this woman to court to get sole custody. Okay. That is fine. She gave it to you because she is sick. Then she said something about like, you know, her other kids. The only other child I see on her page is one other son who is big enough that if she was on bed rest or doing at like any kind of sick, he would be able to at like take care of himself and at, and even take care of her and help her around the house. That boy looked 14 at least. And then she said something about that she's 5'7", and um, the biological father of Maverick, I think is 6'7", whatever. I don't know if those are both the same, if they have the same father. 
But the boy could be 14. He could be younger than that. He could be older than that. He looks big enough to take care of himself if that mother wound up in the hospital. So the whole like, oh, how do you stop from being a mother? I don't know if she's back from vacation, but baby girl was in Cancun for some mental healing. And even in his video, he goes, when she said, I'm not well, he goes, what kind of unwell are you? Is it mental? Is it mental? Is it physical? Is it? it don't fucking matter what unwell she is when she says she's unwell. How fucking not? <laughs> How just nasty of a person do you have to be for when someone says they're not feeling well, you're saying, well, what kind of unwell are you? And then making it about being a mother. Like how he really just basically said, well, how sick can you be to not be a mother to your child? Like I said, I don't know when these posts, like when he made this post and maybe he stored it in his phone to like use it, whatever at the timeline, I'm just going by the date stamps on what he's posting and what she is posting. And like, from what I can see, she did not make the decision lightly to give up her custody she did it for the sake of, I cannot take care of our son if I am not taking care of myself first. And yesterday I made a post because I was replying to one of the girls on here. And I said, like, oh, where my head is at, I would be saying, like, you know, you could probably take better care of him right now than me. So I'm going to just give you the full custody you're asking for. And that is exactly what she did. Like, I was just talking, like, I was just saying that, like, that's where my head would be at. That's basically what she was saying. So, like, I'm, I'm like, just, y'all, I just, I can't, like. So, if you really don't want, if you really don't want our son, y'all just, just do not come. So what part about her standing up in front of a court four separate times saying that she doesn't want anything to do with you or your son makes it unclear to the fact that she doesn't want to be a mother. Of course, the court can do things like obligate her to pay child support unless she were able to give up her parental rights, but you can't make anyone else be a parent. You have sole custody now, so it's on you to raise your child. At the end of the day, I'll tell you the same thing a lot of men tell us. Next time, choose better. She is not answering the phone. Video. I'm going to say this. You really did this shit to that girl like they say you did. The proof in your past video said you did. You trifling as fuck. You not thinking about that damn child. You trifling as fuck. Feel some type of way because I feel like this is what Seven Other Parent is trying to do to me. Seven's other parent has not been active. It was only active if we was together. I broke up when they ran me over. I asked to speak to him on Easter and his birthday. On his birthday, I said go get legitimized because again, I'm only seeking for joint custody. I, when I got served, they asking for full custody. Mind you, they have not been there. You could easily turn into your baby mama. Go, go. You know what? I actually give a fuck about my child. Not saying that she do or she don't. If you definitely did all that, harassed her, and continue, nine times out of ten, you probably continue to harass her, you're fucking trash. Because I wouldn't want shit to do with him, honestly, after that either. I just really feel bad for that child. I know I have a custody hearing fucking Tuesday, and I hope I file the shit right to make my email pop up and get that Zoom link. Probably expect her to fight back. She said, you got it, big bro. I just really feel bad for that child. I can't make her take him on her week. She can make you should have chose better. I don't understand why you're trying to trap that lady with that baby. You're the one that wanted the baby. You should have kept your legs closed and tucked it in and been done. But instead, you were reckless with your C. Now look at you. Plus, you fought for full custody, remember? That's what you was telling the people, so you got what you wanted. Why are you trying to force that kid on her? Stop. She will be a mother. You just gotta let her, give her time. She's trying to get her life together. Give her time. Uh, his mom's weak. She is not answering the phone. Can we address the elephant in the room? Were you not engaged to this woman? 
did you not leave her after she gave birth to your child and then when she put you on child support you neglected to pay it and then you had the audacity to file for sole custody of your sweet little baby in that back seat and now that y'all went to court and she went in there three four times and said i don't want to be that baby mama you mad stop trying to force that baby in her house she don't want the baby go and be a proud single dad it's okay everybody struggles there's family services out there's programs that you can do if you don't want to be in this situation you should have closed your legs Dead in court this past monday she didn't want nothing to do with him yet again for the this is so funny to me because all i see is that you expected to trap her with the child so you could have full access to her and just treat her any way you wanted to now you got the responsibility of the child fully sole custody what are you complaining about because i guarantee you you was the one pressing her about being pregnant and about having that baby in the first place oh it's my son too i should be a part of it i should be a, that's my son you have it that's my son you know why i know because how many people have i heard had that conversation how many people have you heard had that conversation with their girl while they're providing no ring no support no nothing right you got sole custody sir stop complaining welcome to single motherhood i have sole legal custody i call all the shots she said in court this past month so basically sir you won full-blown sole custody of your son and you're complaining that your baby mother doesn't want to be a mother she doesn't even want visitation she stood up in court told the judge three four times she does not want to be a mother why are you complaining if you won sole custody see this sounds to me like reverse coercive control you tried to trap that woman slow her life down, sabotage her life. You knew she was fast and you knew she was the way that she was and you thought a baby would slow her ass down and it did not. And then you fought for sole custody to get out of paying child support, but now you're stuck with the baby full time and you're responsible for the baby 100% of the time. Sounds like your plans for her backfired. That's what that sounds like. Welcome to the Single Baby Mama Club. Now you know what it feels like. That's another great point that you're making, because at the end of the day, the only person losing in this situation is the child, because not only is this baby going to grow up with a mother that was like, yeah, I, you know, I gave you up for the sake of my sanity, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, <laughs> right, let me tell you, we don't care. Yep. So this is all I've got from the stitches. It looks like everybody's uh, bashing him and all that. I mean, I have no idea why. So, but then from what he, I mean, anyway, but let me start by saying that there are some certain things I think shouldn't even make it to TikTok or any social media, especially when you've got to deal with your family and your child, a child is also involved and all that. I mean, some certain things are not even supposed to be on the internet, there are the things you keep to yourself. But then from the things people are saying, it looks like a lot of people actually know him already. Like, you know, from the things he posted, how he posted uh, the uh, the uh, the child's mother's conversation on, um, on TikTok, people did not find that funny, right? And then he actually filed for full custody. Then he got the full custody. The woman gave him full custody. And then he is also like, you know, coming to say, you are going to take care of the child today, tomorrow, you know, that kind of something. When it is supposed to be you all day, all time. I mean, like, you know, you are not even like, you're not getting a break out of it. I just don't know how to explain. But then that is how it is. He's not supposed to get a break because he got full custody. And the woman already said, I do not want to do anything. I don't want to have any, I don't want to like, you know, do anything with you and the child. Like, you know, he is your responsibility or something. But it looks like from what people already said that he takes, uh, she, the woman takes care of the child. Like, you know, from time to time, make up time to see the child and the rest of it. But he is out there blowing up the woman's phone, calling all over. I mean, actually in front of the woman's house and wanting to give the child to the woman 
and all of that. But then I don't know, it looks like the young man actually got a problem from the things, from what I see and what people are already saying. But then it, I don't, I have not said this time around, but I absolutely want to read all your comments. I mean, I am sure most of you already have experience on things like the chart course study and, um, yeah, and parental. Yeah, I am sure some of you already probably might have gone through this. So I absolutely want to read all your comments because I want to be the way. Looks like the man is actually looking for someone he want to control, like, you know. But it's not working out because it seems like the woman is uh, it's kind of smart. I mean, she outsmart the man. And then got the food custody and he's also looking for someone to share his responsibility with. You can imagine that kind of something. So now I, everyone say welcome to a single fatherhood or something like that. This is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.